Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at the Zoom integration tool in Moodle. So we have installed a plugin for Zoom and it makes it super easy to actually create a Zoom link within Moodle that will allow both you and your students to access the course and some other cool features with it. So here we are, we're in Moodle, we have turned edit mode on and we're going to come down and maybe we'll put this in the first week once we scroll past all of this stuff and we're going to do add an activity or resource. And under acti activities and resources, we're going to come right down here to Zoom meeting. So we're going to want to name it. So we can say um, class meeting, something obviously very original. And then we can, we know we can always add description if we want. And then we come down here to it asks about when. So our recommendation here is going to be that for for a class that meets regularly, you might actually not set the regular times, although if you do, there's a benefit for that. So we're going to actually first show what that looks like. So we're going to say, okay, the class meets for three hours and it starts meeting on August 23rd and it starts meeting at, uh, we're just going to say six, oh, nope, because this is mill this is a, uh, a 24 hour cycle, so we're going to look at what would be 1800 hours and zero minutes. So we're basically saying it's going to meet this uh, uh, on this day at this time for this amount of uh, hours. Ask us if it's going to be a recurring meeting. If we select yes, we can choose no fixed time. We can choose daily, weekly, or monthly. Well, this is a weekly course, so we're going to do weekly. So it's going to say, oh, you want this to repeat every week? Uh, what day do you want us to repeat it on? We're going to say Tuesday. And then it's going to say, when do you want us to end this by? Uh, and so, of course, we'll go in and we'll say, oh, we want this to end by December 20th. All right, perfect. Now we've let it know the parameters of, of how often. Um, and here's the, there's, here's the piece that I like is show schedule section on meeting page. So this will list the different meetings. We also have a feature where we can actually pre-create breakout rooms. And I, I like this feature, you know, you can decide uh, if you're going to have, you know, your different rooms for um, the different activities you might do. What's really cool is then you can actually pull in different students within the course. So if I decided room one, uh, this is going to be room, this is going to be the cool room, call it the cool room because I'm mature. And then I can actually select participants. So I can decide I, if I have teams or groups, I can actually do groups or I can just choose individual people. It only lists their email, which is a little convoluted, but we'll run with that. So this is cool room. And then now that I've created that, I can actually add another room. This is going to be the rad room, right? Because we're using really cool names right now. Cool and rad names. So in here, I'm going to put in this other student, and now I have my two rooms created. I have cool room and rad room, and my students are in there. So that when I go to breakout rooms, I can already do that. Here I can, it defaults to requiring a passcode. That's not going to matter as much because um, students will be in Moodle and be able to access that. So you can put in the code that you want, then you can decide if you want the waiting room enabled or just that if they have the passcode, they can come right in, uh, especially if you uh, select allow participants to join at any time. Uh, I tend to encourage this, you know, you may not want to, but I think that, you know, by allowing this, it creates it more of the student's space. They can come and go in. Uh, if they get there early and there's other students, they might be able to strike up conversation and you can just decide to come in at, you know, five minutes of or, or right on the dot. So these are other typical uh, Zoom questions and whatnot. Uh, you know, if you want video on, video off, mute participants upon entry, uh, that's often a useful one just because depending on where people are coming from, there might be uh, issues. All right, so alternative hosts can, uh, you can identify alternative hosts to also be able to run Zoom meetings. The only catch is that they actually have to be part of uh, our institutional Zoom account. So you can't just add anybody. They have to actually be part of College Unbound and have their Zoom account. So just keep that in mind that that can be a little challenging to do from here. Uh, if you want this as a graded item, maybe attendance is part of your grading, you can always add that as a feature. So we're going to just do that this time around. Um, and it's nice, it gives you, you know, you can do scales or you can do points. Um, if you do scales, uh, 
I will actually use the smiley face scale and then you would identify what category um, this would fall in under your grades and after that uh, th under here I would just say turn this potentially off so it doesn't actually create confusion and now we're going to do save and display now that we've created it, it tells us all the things that we need to know. Uh, I can't join at this time because the meeting hasn't started yet. It tells me when the next occurrence is, how long it is. I can add it to my calendar if I want. Um, as an instructor, I will have certain permissions here. So if I actually change this up and we take a look at the student view, we will, we will see a little bit different information here. So largely it tells me you know, here's some of the, that information that was already there, but there's other information that, I, that isn't. If I want to see all the meetings, when I click on it, it will actually list previous meetings in case I want to take a look at those. Um, and so that's the tool from the student view. Now let's go back to the instructor view. So that is how you set up if you want to do the recurring meeting. I just want to jump back into settings and actually go back here and change things up. So one of the things that um, I like to do is instead of a recurring meeting, just create one single link. When I do this, it means that link is just always available and it doesn't have to be kind of sorted into these times. And the reason I might do that is that might become both the course, might become the link for um, class sessions and also the link for drop-in hours or one-on-ones or etc. So uh, I might set it up like that and then again go ahead and do some of these other things to just set it up uh, accordingly. Notice also here I can choose uh, to turn off that secure, showing security section. Uh, if you remember when we were looking at it, it had a bunch of additional information. Uh, it will depend on you know whether you feel that's useful for the students or not. And then I just come down, I'm going to hit save and display. And so it's going to offer a little bit of a different page here. We removed, uh, as I said, that, that security space. Uh, I still have largely the, the pieces of information I need here and when I'm ready I can just hit start meeting. It will pop me into a new browser. That browser will pop open my Zoom and here we are in my new Zoom. Uh, I'm going to obviously end that. So that is the Moodle Zoom tool. We hope it's helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and thank you so much.